Extra minutes. I've said for a long time that Taria Pitt is the strongest person I know, and I stand by that. She was burned horrifically two years ago in a bushfire whilst competing in an outback marathon in the Kimberley in Western Australia. Now, nobody thought that she was going to survive. Her burns were so extensive and so deep that her surgeon said that he's never seen a patient like her pull through. She was literally cooked. I've not had a patient with such a deep burn survive, not ever, ever. Taria had to learn to walk all over again and you should see her running now. It is absolutely inspirational what she's achieved. We've talked in depth about mentally, psychologically, the journey she's taken also. That very first step of seeing her reflection for the first time and how she handled that. And also thoughts about dying, which I never thought that we'd talk about. I've only ever known Taria to be completely upbeat and super positive, but she's got to the point now where she can be more reflective, um, a bit more philosophical about life, and she's earned all of that. It's shown me that I'm actually still Taria. I may look different, but I'm still me. That probably sounds really stupid and philosophical, but that's the way I see it. Taria has had a very strong impact on me and in fact all the 60 Minutes team that's worked with her for the past two years. Um, we've been there during the very hard parts of her recovery, the very good parts. We've got to know her and Michael and their extended families extremely well. We, we feel like they're part of our 60 Minutes family now. She said to me at the very beginning, she said, Michael, if you're going to tell my story, I need it to be um, the way I want it to be told. I want you to show the hard parts, the bad parts and the good parts because I'm honest and I'm real and I don't muck around and I say things the way uh, I mean them and I tell it straight. So she wanted her story to be told straight and I think we have. But she's got a great message and you can't help but be compelled by it and listen to it and forget about your own troubles when you hear what she's been through and how she's won back her life. Thank you.